Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel. I am the Demi Goddess. So if you are new, please make sure you subscribe so you never miss a video from me as I do drop multiple times a week for you guys. And if you're a returning tribe member, you know how I love you so much. Thank you for supporting me. And guess what, guys? We are climbing. We are almost reaching to 2K. We are halfway there. We are at 1.5K subscribers. Let's keep sharing. Let's keep commenting. Let's keep um, liking the videos. I appreciate you guys so, 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 so much. I'm so close to 2k so i woke up this morning i was like whoa like i already got like 200 200 like followers from last night that's crazy so i, I woke up with 1.5k so i'm extremely grateful extremely 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 grateful hopefully this live does not cut out because i tried to do this live several times so what i'm honestly gonna do i typically you know sh uh share the imdb but i'm not gonna be doing that because i don't know what the problem is um, and, and what's going on with that. So anyways, I'm just going to give my honest review on it. Okay. So this is a movie you definitely should see in the movie theaters. Okay. You should see it like in IMAX, you know, the, the Dolby theater, you know, so you could get the real like impact from it, from like the sound, you know, and if you could go to the theaters where the seats move and stuff, like I will recommend you do that because it's one of those films that you should do it just based off of, you know, like the storyline and everything like that. Um, another thing I want to talk about is, um, I did see Dune one when it came out and um, part one, and then I did see Dune two. I saw Dune two part two yesterday. And one of the things that I did, uh, research that I did, I looked on Google, right, when I got out of the movies, because I wanted to see if people felt the same way I felt, you know, and honestly, I'm kind of like a little nerd. I really like looking at reviews and things like that. And I recommend you guys do that too. look at reviews on things like you want to buy, you want to see, you know, you just want to indulge, you want to feed your mind to right. One of the, I really, really, it was a very positive um, feedback that I saw that I did see online on Google. And one of the things I really take, uh, played close um, attention to the reviews that people that have read the books, I didn't know Dune, the Dune um, series was a book. I didn't, I didn't know that. So um, that's something, is it going to make me want to read the book? I don't know maybe a little bit when I found out yesterday, I was like, Oh, maybe I should, but I, not anytime soon. I'm going to be reading the novels. I'm going to be a hundred percent honest. I got other, but like, I have a lot of books here. I purchased that. I haven't even read yet that I'm working on, you know, reading and things like that. By the way, speaking about that, I am currently reading a book right now. I'll talk about that later, but anyways, um, staying back on topic. The reviews was really good when it comes from the society that read the books. You know, the what they were saying is they liked some of the storylines didn't come to life, meaning I guess the book had like an alternative version of what played out in the film or uh, some of some of the character storylines, you know, some things was taken out, some things were added and it was just a really good adaptation of the director and like the writers on them bringing this, you know, piece to life, you know, like it's one thing, you know, you have a cult following, like a book following, but you know, those book followers are like, they're the main ones that drive, you know, the reviews and things like that. So for a lot of the people that read the books to have so much positive feedback, although with what I've read, like, I guess, um, Paul, Paul's story was a little bit altered in, uh, Shaney, Shaney, I could never say her name, right. But his lover, right. Um, was a little bit altered too. So, but it was interesting seeing it. I was like, Oh, this does make me want to read it. Just breaking down, reading the comments and seeing, you know, like this, what, this is what the storyline was in the book compared to what was in the movie and things like that. So, some people might be asking, okay, is this a movie that I should watch part one to, you know, know what's going on in part two? I would highly recommend you watch part one, but it's not necessarily like your end all be, be all. I think you could follow along because part one is its own movie compared to part two, even though it is a, it is a continuation. But the way the director and the writers is doing it, it's kind of like they're breaking down the journey and like building up these characters. 
So yes and no, you know, it just depends on if you're one of those people that really like to be in the know. If you're someone that really doesn't like to be in the know, then hey, another thing that I do want to point out is the, the movie is two hours and 46 minutes. So if you're not a person that can watch movies that are long, then I'm sorry. <laughs> but I will tell you this, there really wasn't a moment in the movie where I felt like, you know, I was bored or anything. Honestly, it had the opposite um, feeling for me. I had to use the restroom. I literally held myself until the end of the movie because I didn't want to miss any of the movie whatsoever. So that's always a good sign. Now, um, I did, I'm not going to give away like the storyline and things like that. I did get a little bit sad towards the end. I'm not even going to lie just based off of Paul and, and, um, his lover, uh, situation. So you guys just watch the film and you see how it is. Like literally, like I was like, but we're, we're going to see. Okay. So the movie is also characterized as an action, adventure, and drama movie, okay? So the storyline goes, Paula Trades unites with Shaney and the, free, and the uh, Freeman while on a war path of revenge against the conspirators uh, who destroyed his family. Facing a choice between lo the love of his life and the fate of the known universe, he endeavors to per, uh, prevent a terrible future only he can foresee. So it was really good. Let me talk about the actors were acting. I think they casted everybody good. The new characters that they introduced, they were really good too. Um, I'm a little bit worried though with, uh, what is her name? Because she was just introduced So the princess, right, of the emperor, I really love her voice, by the way. I love how she narrates because she narrates parts of the movie. And I, I really like that. So it'll be really interesting to see how her character builds in part three, Dune Messiah. That's what everyone is saying. That's what it's going to be called or whatever. I'm going to say allegedly. So... I wasn't expecting the the three-way love story to be I didn't foresee it. I didn't foresee it at all. And that's the part that kind of like made me cry. So that's all I'm going to say about that without like saying too much about it. The movie has like a deep message, like underlying message. If you're not really paying attention, you're not really understanding it. Honestly, in my opinion, now this is me. I haven't like really done that much research about it, but this is my opinion. I really feel like, is this the story between how whatever in time in history where white people and black people, like they went their separate ways, meaning like black people became enslaved. Is black people the representation of the freemen? And then you got all these other, you know, like intergalactic, you know, people coming in and, and raping and raiding like Africa. I don't know. Y'all just y'all y'all look into it. You know, don't shoot. Don't shoot the messenger or whatever. I was just getting that vibe, that feel. Also, too, I was getting the vibe like uh, taking plays off of um the Bible, I always was get not always. I also was getting the vibe of if you guys seen the Prince of Egypt, it gave me that vibe as well. So it's a lot of things going on here. The cinematography is chef kiss. The budget was budgeting. You already, I already uh, told you guys about the actors. I, it was just, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful movie and it's something that we needed. And the thing is, uh, this team, everyone behind the Dune series, right? Franchise. They are creating a cult following here. And, you know, Dune, I think the first one, let me see. Um, I want to see the history because this is a remake. This is not. Didn't it come out in the 80s? Let me see.
Yeah, it came out in the 80s. So Dune, it came out 1984. Is that what it's showing? I haven't seen the original Dune, so I don't I don't know. I haven't seen the original Dune, but yeah, it came out in the 80s. So it's a remake. But anyways, they definitely are creating like a, a cult fan base. And this is something that we kind of are missing in film right now. No one is really like putting like the budget behind it or if they're putting the budget behind it it's lacking either in the writing it's it's lacking in like the choice of cast it's lacking in the acting you know it's lacking in just the press run so this is what's needed right now because in film they're really I'm not gonna say there hasn't been any good films as you guys know I'm a huge movie head so I'm always going to the movies multiple times in a month um, it's so bad that I have a movie pass, <laughs> you know, like I'm a really serious, uh, movie head, but the last movies that I've seen, you know, when it comes to like adventure and drama and action, it's just, they're either using too much CGI. It's just a lot of different dynamics or the writing is just not there. There's disconnects. There's moments where it's like, you should have built up on the character storyline. There's some stuff you should have took out that really was not necessary. So that's just what I've been experiencing. And also I've been experiencing as if movies don't have like a soul, a pulse. And Dune Part 2 does have a soul and a pulse. Like it makes you want to be a part of the movie, to be honest. That's how good ever the whole team put this, you know, masterpiece together. That's how good it is, you know? And it kind of gives me the vibe. I haven't felt like that in a very, very long time when it comes to, you know, this genre of film is the last, I think the last thing that I saw that really gave me that vibe, I was like, oh, I'm so interested to see where this is going to go is Rebel Moon, which was on Netflix. But that's on a Netflix on a streaming service. As far as like blockbusters, the last biggest thing is like Star Wars, you know, like Star Wars. It's giving me that vibe that I need, you know, like cult following. Like I want to follow all the storylines, like a branch off into so many different, you know, uh, perspectives and things like that. So it's really exciting. And it's something that is needed. And I just think the last couple of movies too, I'm not even going to lie, even though there are people that are credited as to writing, I really feel like they use AI writers because you could just tell the difference when it's the AI writer. Like, I'm not trying to talk bad about technology or anything like that, but at the end of the day, like technology, it may, you know, could think and it has its own intelligence. It's not a human. Like there's, a, there's a complete difference. Yes. Uh, technology is, it could be proficient. It also could be faulty as well. It also could be unreliable as well. It also can be reliable, but at the end of the day, I just feel like when it comes to certain things in tech, like when it comes to writing, I don't feel like AI should be a part of like film and things like that. Maybe like editing it, but as far as like creating so source material and things like that, I think it should strictly stay with human beings because once we start venturing off to that, it, you know, it's no secret. Technology is already taking jobs for, for, uh, people that, uh, for jobs that people used to do. Right. So I just feel like there's certain genres, certain industries that, I shouldn't say genre, certain industries that AI should not be taking president over, like, period. That's just my opinion, okay? If I had to rate the Dune movie I'm a, out of a 10, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I liked it. I really, really loved it. Um, I Honestly, I'm going to purchase the Dune part one, and then when this finally is able for purchase, I'm going to buy it too because this is literally – a film right now. It's my favorite. And what I mean by that, it's my favorite. I'm talking about Dune part one, but I don't have Dune two because it's not, you can't buy it yet. You can only see it in theaters, but yeah, this series is like my favorite. So, and I don't buy a lot of films. I stream a lot and I go to the movies, you know, I support them, support the actors and everyone that are, is a part of a project that I want to support but I don't really buy physical copies of things anymore. So for me to actually spend my money to download it, so I have it on my phone, I could watch it whenever. There's very select few movies like that. And I could tell you off the top of my head, the movies that I have downloaded. I have uh, The Great Gatsby. I have Beetlejuice. That's my favorite. I also have Mad Men, the TV series. I only have the first season on it, but I love Mad Men. I feel like that's one of the best TV shows that I've ever watched outside of True Blood. Um. 
I have uh what is it, Fifty Shades of Grey, the first one. I thought that one was really good. And Moulin Rouge. Those are the ones that I bought. Okay. I still need to buy the Temptations. I don't know if you guys seen that biopic. And I, oh my God, I'm forgetting the other film that I need to buy. Oh, I need to buy the trilogies of the mummy movies. I think I did buy all of the mummy movies. Yeah, I bought all the mummy movies. So yeah, those are my main ones. So like meaning like I purchased on my phone. So, and don't get me wrong. Like when DVDs was popping and stuff like that, I have my own little collection. We could get into that in a whole nother day, but yeah, 10 out of 10. So the ratings though for Dune part two, Timothy is fine as hell, is a 9.0 out of 10. That's what people rated the film on its IMDb. So if you guys want to look into that and, I always find that intriguing. I love reading people's reviews and, you know, I don't just look for the positive ones. I look for, you know, the low rating ones as well. So I could get like a clear understanding of like where people is coming from, like their perspective and things like that. Sometimes it frustrates me though. And I get mad when I look at the reviews because I'm like, okay, you clearly are just a negative Nancy. <laughs> but yeah, that's how I feel. I do strongly recommend you guys watch it. It's worth watching. This is just a masterpiece. Honestly, it has such a deep spiritual pulse in this movie. I literally, I was speechless after I watched the movie. I literally, I, I drove a whole hour because I wanted to see it, you know, in the Dolby theater to see it. And uh, I was like speechless, just really thinking about life and, you know, what I wanted to do. It had, it put me in that mode. I don't know what that was, but it put me in that mode and, I just strongly recommend you guys watch it, okay? But I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for supporting me. And guys, we made it to 1.5K. We are halfway to 2K. So I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate you guys, how much I love you guys. Um, keep running up the numbers. Please make sure you like the video. That counts, okay? Like the video and make sure you subscribe and you share. And I'll see you guys soon.